Well, good day, guys. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, it is that time of year when many a um, local fisherman in my area laments the end of the Spanish mackerel run. Uh, it's coming into winter proper now, so as the water temperature's cool, we see the uh, Spanish mackerel and other plagics start to head back up north, which is pretty frustrating because uh, it means now we've got a six month wait until they return. But I was just going through some uh, old footage from earlier this year and there was a couple of pretty good fish that didn't make it into an episode. So I thought what I'll do is to uh, help all of those Spanish mackerel tragedies out there, like myself, get through the next couple of months. Actually, this might even make it worse. But anyway, here they are, a compilation of a couple of fish that didn't make it into uh, an episode that were caught earlier this year. And we'll see you next episode. Bye for now. Got I got him. So when I first started trolling today, I was at the north end of this island, and then I realised I saw one of the boys. The current's actually far from the south to the north. So I've come down the south end where the current's hitting the rocks. It's much rougher, much harder to troll in these conditions. But worth it. Good fish. Nice fat solid fish. That lure just fell out. Nice to teeth bones on it. Big Chris on this one. As you all know, I love trolling me how it goes. 
This season I've loved the deep divers because of the discoloured water on the surface. Uh, really love the purple and gold. But this green goes alright, particularly when it's really murky like this. It's really not a nice colour, this water. But anything with a bit of metallic in it. Show these conditions are atrocious on the only boat in the boat ramp car park today. Sometimes, as long as it's safe, you're going to put up with some uncomfortable stuff to get the rewards. Yes, that was a perfect day, but there would have been 10 boats out here. So, pick your times, pick your spots, look for where your current's hitting. Just keep at it, and you'll get them. Nice finish. We're going to buy one or two more there, so we'll go and have another go. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, I don't want to lose this one. <laughs> Dropped so many fish today. If you watch my channel, I love a high speed water drop, especially this time of year. And this is the reason why it's such an effective, simple, bloody good fun way to fish. And if you're looking for your pelagic species, whoa! <laughs> Shit, I almost dropped you over the side. I hate doing this to this camera. If you want your pelagic species like these guys, wahoo, uh, tuners. Deadly effective. Great way to find them. And then once you found them, you can keep working that given area like I'm going to do now. I'm going to go back and woo give it a go. <laughs> give it another go. Oh, oh it's fine.
a bad consolation prize at all, this one. <laughs> oh, no. Not a bad consolation prize, though. Donkey, trolled path, got nine knots on going there, and he was in amongst all those yellowfin. Uh, like I said, it can be frustrating at times, yellowfin, when you target other stuff, but they're always a good indicator that there'll be some good stuff in there with them and amongst them. So you've got to keep persistent and you'll keep getting a yellowfin, and then all of a sudden one of these things will come through and grab it, which is what you want. Happy with that. Bad fish at all. Oh, 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 I will do the good fish. Ah, bugger. Doesn't rain a bloody pause. Oh, that's all. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, Where's that the line? That's a double look up. <laughs> this thing is big. The second piece is still on. Fucking hell! Fucking shocked! <laughs> Guns! Fuck! It's beautiful! And 
again. Oh, that's a good fish. Okay, that's taking 15 like that. Better fish. <laughs> Find me bloody gas. I bet you it slid up under the seat there. Uh, bug up there. No, it This is what we call a good fish. That uh, gas sitting me off. No. Oh, can't turn a trick today. Shit. That was a big fish. No. Not happy. No, it's not. Oh, you would not believe this. <laughs> That's my other Spanish mackerel from the second hookup on the Zerk Speed Junkie. Definitely a Spaniard. Look at that tail. He has been absolutely totaled. <laughs> so there you go. Two separate fish, double hookup on the lures in water that's just brown. I mean, look at that. Hopefully, it comes up the GoPro. Dreadful looking water. Time for, time for about five minutes, I reckon. So, if anyone asks the question, do you get Spanish mackerel in uh, brown water? <laughs> it's a pretty solid chance you do. Oh, 
Frage, weil. Da, wo, 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 w